Hello, Les from Thailand. Today's talk and video is about the three stages that single men go through moving to Thailand. So you're a single man wishing to move to Thailand. You've heard what, it's, what other people say and it's a fantastic place. And invariably what I'm going to speak about today is the three phases. And I would say majority of people that are here have gone through them three phases. The first phase is where you, you come to Thailand and you think, oh, fantastic place, it's a lovely place, it's paradise. And it is. It's a, a single man's candy shop. The candy shops are full of sweeties and you can just go and eat as many sweets as you want. It's a single man's paradise. Everything and anything is available here in, in Thailand. And Pattaya, it's named Sin City because anything and everything goes on in Pattaya. Like I said, it's a man's paradise. But I would say it's like Pinocchio Land also. Uh, there's a sting in the tail. And relationships are made and broken in Pattaya. So that, that's basic phase one when you come to Pattaya and you discover a new place and you can go and pick up any lady that you want basically from any bar you just sit and talk to them and you can take them home and if you're overweight if you're bald you've got no teeth anything is available here it might cost you a bit more money but i've seen a bloke who's like 40 stone having like 10 gorgeous girls all the way around him cost him a lot of money for that a couple of hours but he still had a good time from that also, if you're disabled, if you're in a wheelchair or you've got, um, you know, amputations, legs or your arms or whatever, you can still get looked after and look and taken care of over here. It's a wonderful place, for it, but you've got to have the right frame of mind to come here. Um, it's a bit daunting as well. If, if you're a guy that isn't used to all the female attention, then you might struggle for the first week or two weeks. But you'll soon get used to it and it, it's a wonderful place. There are many people who've met the girlfriends from Pattaya and live happily ever after after that. There's other people who've been with the girlfriends and have, have split up and found another one. And then found another one, then found another one and they just keep going on. It's a wonderful place, but it's a place that you can find happiness, but it's a place that you can also find sadness. So moving on from the first stage where you're a kid in a candy shop and everything's available, choices, 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 to you find the girl that you like, you want to settle down, but you still live in the Pattaya area or local area, and you still go drinking and you still go out with your friends in Pattaya. It's like party town, every night is a Saturday night in, in Pattaya. But you've had a few beers and the temptations are still there while your girlfriend's back at the apartment or your condo while you're going to have a few beers with your friends. The number of girls that will throw themselves still at you. And while you've had a few beers, the, the mind's getting weaker and weaker. And yet, okay, you'll say, ah, oh, she won't know about it. I'll go a short time with it with this girl. I'll have a massage in this massage place. But the Thai internet is very, very good. The Thai girls will find out where you've been, what you've done, what you've been up to, who you've been, and how you've been they always find out and then that's going to give you more grief because then you're arguing with your girlfriend because you've been tempted and then the trust goes so that's stage two so what you need to do from there is be strong if if you're a bar person and you like the bar it's very difficult to move out of the patio area because it is like party town all the time so then comes to the stage three where you've found the girl that you want, you're happy with the girl that you want. So you move outside the patio and you settle down, you buy your condo or you buy your house or you rent a house and condo and you move into the countryside away from Pattaya. As, as I did, I moved outside the patio. I lived in Pattaya for two years. Um, it was great while I was there, but I have a much happier lifestyle outside the patio now than, than I did inside. My social life is here much much better and um, we have social events with friends around the local area we do things together it's like a little community and it's good 
but if you're a, a bar person it probably won't suit you because you know there's there's a few bars in the local area where I am but nothing at all like Pattaya nothing compares to Pattaya if that's the lifestyle that you like but my suggestion is if you stay in Pattaya and that's how you want to be you'll never be happy because the temptation there is there and it, it'll always be there you just need to have an argument with your girlfriend and you'll go out and you'll stray and once you've strayed you'll do it again and again and again and that causes grief with the girlfriend that you're with and it just goes on and on and on so my suggestion is if you're a party man and you like to do it party party all the time stay in party yeah stay single be happy there but if you want to find a girl and settle down and there's plenty of girls in Pattaya to find not all bar girls you can even go to 7-eleven or and find a girl that you like in 7-eleven there's many opportunities in Pattaya that don't have to be bar girls or massage girls that you can find look on the internet you'll find plenty of people available in Pattaya on the internet also so like I said it's a single man's paradise you are a kid in a candy shop and it's a wonderful place to be wonderful place to go but it can burn you out so it can burn you out because you can't burn the candles at both ends and not pay for it so come to Patia, come and have a look at it as a single man or if you're not very happy in your own life come over across here and I would suggest if you find a girl here and you're not living here all the time it's doomed to failure I've seen so many relationships fail because they've lived in Australia or they've lived in America or they've lived in Germany and they send money over to the girlfriends and see them two or three weeks at a time two or three times a year it's never going to work I've never seen a successful relationship yet in the eight years that I've been here it's all failed people have lost the money people have, have regretted it people have built houses people have bought condos keep your money in your pocket until the one day you can come and live here and then live here a long time then find your girlfriend long distance relationships never work so if you need any questions have you got any questions that you need to answer in I can answer most of them I don't know everything but I do know a lot so from Les living the dream in Thailand until the next time Bye for now.